there's countless appeal to the LBC. But downtown, like with every U.S. American city, there's a man, woman, or child who calls for pity. I was on my way home at about 11.20, jumped off the blue line because my mind couldn't believe what my eyes could see. I'm moving closer to a portrait of a state's poverty because lies are being told about another country's liberty and mud scraped off boots leaving echoes of tyranny bellowed out by the preceding Washington sea. And the sound of change is muted by economical defeat. Oh, you just can't stand tall and mimic a speech the elite fed to you to speak. Oh, what do you see? Is it less than zero in the streets, hanging tough, trying to complete an eight-hour sleep without cursing those irritating sheep and trying not to have dreams of food to eat, but closing your eyes to the people that creep? I'll be going home to a warm bed to sleep, food of plenty to eat, someone to love me, but it's 11.20 and I can't sleep.